Hey everybody, how are you doing? And today we're talking about starting a session in Pro Tools and not wanting to make all the channels by yourself. So this is why templates were invented and I'm working out of a template actually always and I'm always sticking with a very careful selected rules how I build my sessions. So let me show you how you actually import a template. You can create a new session and uh, start from a template, uh, create from template. I almost never do this because I first import all the channels and then see what I actually want to do with it. So another way to import a template is go to file import session data that's what i use and when we then go to my mix template we have everything in here that i need so let's make this a bit bigger i can say well i only need my master dynamics and my no dynamics channel i can also say i need everything with command a i can select everything that's in here can also choose to import tempo map and stuff but i never need that in my uh, mixing sessions what i always check is if i have the uh, clips and media turned off and what you can see if i turn off clips and media is that other things are also turned off and this makes sure that no audio from the other session comes in this is for instance handy when you have well when you have a band in the studio and you've recorded the first song and they are all happy about their headphone mixes and everything and you want to record the second song so you make a new session and you import the session data without clips and media then you are sure that you have a well actually the same session with the same balances make sure that the rest is all turned on by the way um, but without the audio because you don't need the audio of the first song in the second song so i always make sure that this is turned off you can see that it also automatically set the main playlist option to do not import and uh, we simply press ok and I get a small error because I just had a new analyzer and this is from the old analyzer. Now we can see that I have the whole template imported. So that's cool, but how do we make a template? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We, we just make a session and we make our template in here. So let's say we have like 10 audio tracks in here. Let me quickly give them all a name. Let's just uh, assume we have some kind of a balance in here. So uh, I don't know, something like that, this. Let's also insert uh, some EQs on it. We can simply save this as a session and use import session data. That's the way I always use it. But you can also uh, save it as a template and we can choose a category and save it as a template. So let's YouTube template. I can press OK. And when we now create a new session, I can start a new session with this template. So do this and then uh, call this one, uh, well, just YouTube template, save it somewhere. And there we have it, uh, a session made from our own template so this is all pretty straightforward and pretty simple but there's another thing uh, which i really like so let's say we are mixing an album and we have a channel with a synth on it so we have audio from a synthesizer on here and we actually want to use the same sound throughout the album so we actually want to import the settings from the synthesizer but not the audio then we can do again import session data and we go to that to, to that song that we want to have the data from and then we can say match tracks so it will put the data from the uh, synth channel in the in the other song to the in to the synth channel in our song and we can also choose what we want to import so again i don't want to import the clips and media i don't want the audio files i only want all the settings when we then press ok we can see that we get the settings from that other song so with our eq on it and our multiband compressor on it just as in the last song and if you've used the same sound as a source so that the synthesizer was set to the same sound then we should have the same sound in this session as we did in the other session and this is a very powerful feature in pro tools Something I use a lot uh, when doing albums, when doing, also when doing recordings and stuff. It's a real time saver and uh, other DAWs can also do this, but the way Pro Tools has implemented this is, well, actually still something I really love. Uh, Reaper can do it with a workaround, uh, which I will talk about later. Studio One cannot do it. Logic, I don't know. Our doer should be able to do it, but I don't know. I'm not sure actually. I don't know. So yeah, this is how templates work in Pro Tools. If you liked it, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, press that thumbs down. Please don't. Leave a comment with suggestions for future videos or questions to me below. Check out Patreon over here if you want to support me on the financial side and check out one of my other videos over here. Thank you a lot for watching this video and bye bye.